Hey guys, another day, another dollar. Ooh, let me turn this down a little bit. Yeah, right there, right there, right there, right there. Yeah. A little bit different format today because I opened an email, right? Uh, it's uh, submithorsemeat at gmail.com. And I on Instagram, I said, hey guys, um, if you would like to, you know, email me your situations that you're in and basically ask me for advice and I'll give you my two cents. Uh, that's emails open now, and we're gonna be making videos about some that uh, horse meat ruined a re my relationship. I'm in love with someone else's girlfriend. My ex cheated on me with multiple females, and I'm having an existential crisis following it. Um, I think of my homie once, once my girl, please help me. I cheated on my girlfriend with a milf, and these are all things that you guys have been through. I've been reading them. So the one we're doing today is from a girl. Uh, she basically <clears throat> sent me a picture of her, her ex who cheated on her with multiple females and a news article about an attempted murder, uh, with the ex in question. Hey, horse meat. So basically I dated this guy for months only to find out he was cheating on me with a dot, dot, dot larger girl. Nothing's worse than when your girl cheats on you and you know you're good looking and it's somebody ugly because you know the reason that sucks is because you know they did it for the personality. It hurts more for some reason. <clears throat> Nothing against her. He just said he hates fat girls so there's a lot of irony in him sleeping with one. It's, it's kind of wild how he feels no remorse for cheating on me when there's definitely more girls than just the one. Not on a, any cocky shit but I am by far the hottest girl he's been with and I gassed him up way too much. He has the hairline of a 60-year-old man and the maturity of a 12-year-old boy wrapped into one. I blame his behavior on the way he grew up, traumatic household in parentheses, and the signs of autism. So why are you even dating him? Obviously, he's not attractive. Bro has autism. Uh, and he cheated on you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you just gotta, you just gotta raise the bar slightly. Maybe at least, like, if he's gonna cheat, maybe he better looking or... I don't know, something, <clears throat> but the more I reflect, the more I realize he's shown severe signs of sociopathy, and he was just a grimy man from the jump. The existential part comes in when I realize that I don't think I ever truly loved him. I was just escaping the fact that I miss my ex-boyfriend. And that's what happens, you know, that's what a rebound is. It's you're not actually liking someone. It's not that you actually like them. You just need that somebody to fill the void after someone that you genuinely did like. You just need that void filled. And it makes you convince yourself that you like someone when you actually, you know, maybe don't like them as much as you think you do. Also, worse to admit and sadder, my ex treated me far better than he did. My ex has been in jail for a year awaiting trial for his felony murder case. I am trying to navigate my way through this, so hopefully you can make light on the situation. Alright, I take it back. I take everything I just said back. He might be better, but at the same time, bro, why is he, uh, why is he killing people, bro? Anyway, for reference, here's a picture of me, a cheater, and a link to the news article about my ex. All right, I don't know if I should share these pictures, but shit, I'm just going to do it. Fuck. Um, she's the one who sent this email. Uh, let's look at the guy. Is this an invasion of privacy? I don't know. It's in the email. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to show a picture of the guy who cheated. It seems like uh, he didn't consent. The girl consented. But I will read the article uh, about the ex wh who's pleading not gu guilty to murder that treated her better. Man accused with a father and son in the fatal shooting of blank year old man in blank. I'm not going to give you the location. Pleaded not guilty to murder today name and age blank was arrested around 5 a.m friday according to inmate records blank residents uh blank and blank were arrested around 4 a.m paramedics arrived despite their efforts victim was pronounced deceased at the scene okay all right so here's what i'm gonna tell you right now all right you're you're a pretty girl Okay. Um, I would say stop dating guys uh, who kill people and cheat on you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what about like a guy that, <clears throat> how about this? How about this? Let me, let me give you a scenario, right? 
guy's nice, has a job, makes money, um, treats you well, you know, good stroke game, like, each stroke, like, it's very fulfilling, you know what I'm saying, good looking guy, and it's just normal, you know what I'm saying, not a cheater, not crazy, doesn't shoot people, just a normal dude, you know, who, do, who does normal shit, and he's just, not, and you fuck with him, and you guys do fun shit together, you guys go on cool dates, but, like, you do look a little goth, I ain't even gonna lie, so I know you might be attracted to that dangerous side of, of men. You like the you like the bad boy type, you know what I mean? But while it sounds good in theory, you know, it's cool until you're raising a kid and uh your his his dad is or your kid's dad is in jail. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he didn't do it though. I don't know. I wasn't there. You know what I mean? I was not there, so I would say, um, uh, put both of this, these situations behind you, uh, and go look for somebody a little better. I'm gonna read one more short one, and then maybe do, like, a longer one tomorrow or something. Alright, I'm gonna read one more called Horse Meat Causes Relationship to Fall Apart. Uh, if I destroyed your relationship, my bad, but honestly, like, it doesn't sound like I would ever do that. <clears throat> Back in June last year, I went to Houston with my ex from... F um, from Florida. We were staying at his dad's for a bit during the summer. One night I'm getting high and he's trip sitting me and I'm scrolling through his Instagram because that was something that was normal for us. When he gets a DM from this girl, the account was familiar to me because we had had a conversation about it before. It was a meme page, but partially, partially a personal Instagram page of this girl named Stella. <clears throat> she was like, conventionally attractive. In the past, I had asked him if he personally knew her, and he denied and said that they've never talked outside of the comments, and he just replies to her memes. Yeah, bro, if dudes sign up on a girl's memes, that's a big thing, man. He probably wants her. Like, oh, she's got a sense of humor and shit. Oh. I check his DMs, and it's a horse meat video of him doing, like, a nut video motion. And her message next to it saying something the lines of, This dude reminds me of your dick pics. They were fire. Okay, so I, th I think I know what happened. The video I made of uh, how to properly send nutting video with audio, right? I showed you the angle. I showed you how much audio you should use, how much moaning you should do. I'm not saying don't be dreamy bull. You're not dreamy bull. It's not, ah, ah. Like, it's not that. It's more of like a, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Ooh, tip. Ooh, my tip is... Ooh. Um, anyway, so I'm assuming that that got sent, and then she said, this dude reminds me of your dick pics. They were fire. Okay, so your boyfriend sent dick pics uh, to this meme girl. Damn, dude, you got cheated on by a girl that runs a meme account? Or with a girl that runs... Oh. Now, I'm obviously... I'm confused, and we look at each other, and he's immediately like, I can explain. I was still high out of my mind, so this caused a terrible trip. I would assume that that would cause a terrible trip, and he basically just tried me to get, tried to get me to stop ignoring him after, all night after that, and that was one of the first big fights in the relationship. Needless to say, lost a big chunk of trust I had for him, even though the explanation he gave me seemed valid enough. Okay, I didn't hear the explanation, but honestly, um... Yeah, nah, bro, he's cheating. What, what's the explanation of, air quote, this dude reminds me of your dick pics, they were fire. So what's the, what's the explanation on that? Is it, oh, I didn't send dick pics, it was just, uh, it was like joking dick pics. It was like, hey, yo, check out my dick while I'm stroking it. You know, like, that's me on Iron Crew in Young LA. Oh. A lot of you guys are like, what, 16, 17, 18, 19, so... Old head ass, horse meat, 22, I know, so old, fucking old as fuck. Might as well be fucking bear, just bury me now, dude. I'll give you my two cents on your situation, so I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day, and I will see you in the next one, peace. Also, thanks for all the streams in de on Dead Inside, man. <laughs>